Thank you for joining me for Farmer Flicks and Clips. My name is Danielle Block and I'm a resource conservationist with Manitowoc County Soil and Water. Today I'm at Dan Meyers Field here in Keele, Wisconsin. Two weeks ago he no-till planted corn into rye stubble. Several days before planting the corn he harvested the rye for forage. The relative forage quality of the rye was 136 with a 15% protein matter. The rye was planted as a cover crop along with Austrian peas and oats last August following a Canadian pea harvest. Manure was applied at 5,000 gallons per acre following the Canadian pea harvest and prior to the cover crop. Now let's hear a few words from Dan Meyer. Meyer here, uh, no-till planting into a rye uh, cover crop field, uh, planted about August 15th of last year. Uh, on the front of the planter we have Martin row cleaners. Uh, for the most part we have them up and out of the way. Uh, this is an extremely rocky field, so we want to avoid having those hit rocks and bounce the planter out of the ground. Um, planting depths about an inch and a half, closer to two inches. Uh, closing wheels on the right we have a Schaefer. Um, fairly simple to install, uh, take off the rubber press wheels and, and install that. Uh, on the left we have a uh, spike tooth closing wheel and we're getting pretty good closing action in a row, um, packed down well, um, seats pretty well entrenched. Uh, in no-till situations like this you have to drive fairly slow, um, three and a half, four miles an hour just because it's an extremely rocky field with all these um, rye residue it's difficult to get a um, keep the planter in the ground otherwise. Uh, no other special modifications this planter, it's just a you know, 15 year old, 20 year old uh, Kinsey farm planter.